Hello and welcome to this lesson entitled Budgeting and Advanced Feature of QuickBooks Online. This lesson is part of the Navigating QuickBooks Online module in the topic called Getting Started. After completing this lesson, you will be able to recall the steps to get started with the QuickBooks Online, specifically in budgeting and advanced feature of QuickBooks. This lesson will conclude with a few exercises that will help you succeed with the certification test. Before we get started, may I remind you that you will gain much more benefit from this lesson if you use the handbook that accompanies it. The handbook can be downloaded from the homepage of the QuickBooks Online Certification Program. When you have the handbook open to this lesson, click the next button to start the lesson. On the home screen, we have on right hand side settings tab. Clicking on that, when we go to tools, there is a budgeting. When we click on this, the budgeting window appears. In this lesson, I will introduce you to the following. Creating a new budget, editing the existing budget, how to make changes to the budget, what are the reports available for budgeting versus actual, and uh, scheduling the budget reports. Let's directly get back to creating a new budget. On the budgeting home screen, we have on right hand side top of that new budget. When we click on that, a new pop-up window appears over here. In the new window, we will have basically three options. First, create the budget from scratch or from a historical amount. Second, whether we want to choose budgets into the subdivide that is, we have various locations, various classes, or let's say customer wise. Let's click on next. We have three options in that. We can create a budget from the last financial year or this financial year when we click on drop down. Second is no amounts option. We can create a budget from scratch that is absolutely our own with no previous figures or historical information. In a third option, we can always copy from an existing budget as well. That is, let's say we have created budget for the past year. So from the past year, we can copy the budget and the figures that are in the last budget will get populated in the existing budget. So let's click the third option. Let's click on next. Now it will ask, what is the financial year? Let's say it's 14, 15. Let's give a specific budget that is FY 14, 15 budget let's click on the finish now we can see on the screen that budget for financial year 1415 has been created on the same and the figures are populated from the past budget that is financial year 1314 now let's say we want to edit this budget so we can edit particular chart of account wise for example we have royalty which will start receiving from this year in April. Let's say we estimate it to be 30,000 per month. So we can select a specific month that is April, put down a specific figure, for example, 30,000. Let's say it is different in the next month. So we can put down manually. Let's say it is 27,000 in the another month. So month by month, we can put different figures or else let's say the figures are estimated to be the same amongst all the months then we can enter a specific amount and give a copy across so it will copy across for the rest of the months we can press the button save and next so that will save a specific amount month wise in a particular chart of accounts and it will go into the next column by that way we can put down data for each and every chart of account now let's go on to editing a specific chart of accounts for example, it is advertising. So advertising is estimated to be 3000 per month. Now we want to make it 2450 per month. So for a specific month, we can edit amount. Let's say in May, it is going to be 3000. Again in June, let's say it is going to be increased and so on for the rest year, it is going to be the same. So after putting down the amount, we can click on copy across. So it will pick up the amount for the rest of the year. We can click on save and next and our figures you can see here in advertising column gets edited the way we changed it. That way we can put down figures for the rest of the chart of accounts and we can just finish it. Once we finish it 
and now let's say we just want to edit the budget or let's say we just put down the wrong figure and we just want to change it again so we can go to budgeting the budgeting home will appear let's say let this year budget click on a specific let's say we missed out studio and location cost so as if we are entering new we can just put down figures copy across if it is supposed to be the same for all months save and next and our budget is edited once we edit the changes we can click on the finished and it will save the budgets now <clears throat> the question is from where we can get budget versus actual report for that we need to go to the reports menu on the left hand side let's click on that in that we have all reports under that we have business overview in business overview we have two reports related to budget that is budget overview and budget versus actual let's click on budget versus actual in budget versus actual we can always customize the report this window has appeared based on the budget we can select account versus quarter, accounts versus total. Let's say we want accounts versus month. We can percentage over budget, percentage of budget, percentage of remaining. Let's run the report. So for each month, the details will appear based on the actual data entered by the users and system will come out with the <coughs> variance report that is what is the actual amount that gone over and above the budgeted figures we can always print this email this take it into the excel and do necessary changes and the formatting that we wish we can always save the customization and schedule the email reporting for the specific users or a specific group of users so just to summarize budgeting as an advanced feature business can create their own budget from scratch from existing budget or from the past figures they can always edit the budgets they can always keep a tight control over their finances over their expenditure and analyzing giving them a timely insight into where it went over budget and why and assessing the reasons and rebudgeting on a rolling monthly basis you have completed this lesson to be sure you have retained what you learned complete the show you know exercises that follow feel free to return to this lesson to reinforce anything you forget thank you so much bye bye